Hello members, uh, so in this short video, I just want to show you or why to tell you why I'm shifting from NPM and I'm going to PNPM. Okay, so I've been using NPM and YAN for so long uh, in all my projects. Now in all my next projects, I'm going to be using PNPM and the reason is actually very direct on their homepage, the free, uh, the disk, uh, disk space efficient uh package manager and the uh if you have been using any pm you might not be knowing that the node modules that come with the packages for so many projects they finish up all your disk space so after experiencing this you can see i have 195 on c drive and 21 on this but you can see all this space after just going ahead and making research all this space was covered by actually npm modules by my different projects i have so many projects on the pc and all these projects they turn out to be actually taking space because of the node modules that come with a project you know when you have any project you will find that you have a gigantic um if I open like any of these uh, projects anywhere uh, like this, you will see that you have the node modules for any project. All these projects, they build up, they keep on building up and you find that uh, if you have 100 projects or 20 projects, plus maybe 10 G, uh, 1 GB for each project, you have used a lot of space. Now, with PNPM, that's where it actually shines. So what PNPM does is that it uses uh if you just go back to the documentation i think this is why they have motivation here on the saving space so when you install like a package or you're installing any package they create a content address store they create a store where they put that they, it's just like the way you see redux they create their own store on your machine and every time you're in another project like this is project one node modules project two node modules they are all fetching actually in the same store okay uh you don't have to recreate and create a different project so whenever you create a new project they go to the store and they check if that package exists and if it exists with the matching uh versions they will go ahead and then they use it in that project and the result of that you will save the space and also you will have high speed in installation because most of the packages you'll be reusing them for the second time or even the third time so they will have already been installed already on your machine and therefore it will be very fast okay so i've just put together all the commands you need okay and the two factors what has, has taken me is that you save the disk space which is very important for me and also it is 2x faster than npm in installation speeds so the only few commands you need the first one you have to install npm globally and the only command you need is npm install globally pnpm as simple as that the second one is how to install nextjs using pnpm and that is pnpm create next app then you add the project name and that's it. And then the third one is how to install the packages, more especially after you have downloaded the Git, um, a Git project and you want to install all the packages at once, simply run pnpm install. And then the uh, uh, last but not least, uh, how to install a single package, just simply say pnpm add, it can be pnpm add express, pnpm add uh, whichever package you want to add, as simple as that and lastly you can remove a package by using pnpm remove that package as simple as that thank you so much i will see you in the next video